Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. And we'll start off with the ski conditions here. So uh, most everybody across Western New York, across all the ski resorts, are doing pretty good here. All the bases are looking uh, pretty good here. Uh, even Mount Pleasant down there in PA is now up to 30 inches for the peak base. And all the surfaces are looking good with a machine groomed or pack powder surface. Here is a future scan through the day. Now this is the in-house computer model, and I personally don't think it's doing a good job trying to show what's coming our way through the afternoon. It does show a few rain and snow showers, but I think there'll be a little bit more than this than what the model is trying to predict here. But uh, there will be the chance for a few rain and snow showers. It's not going to be anything heavy and it's not even going to last all day either. Just a few rain and snow showers through the afternoon. Again, the model tries to paint a snow shower tomorrow afternoon. Nada, I don't think that's going to happen. The day tomorrow is going to be dry and then especially tonight will be dry after we get through the afternoon. Bigger story is going into the weekend, Thursday through Friday. We see a big shift in the pattern happening. There's going to be an Arctic cold front coming in from Canada, so you know what that means. Behind this cold front is true Arctic air and like the banner says, we're going to be violated by true Arctic air as we go into the later part of the week. We think as this front moves on through, we think that we're going to see some snow Thursday, Thursday night into Friday. We don't know how much yet, but our current estimation of a range is a few inches to a plowable snow. That's the best we've got for you right now. But again, as we go throughout the week, we'll, uh, but again, as we go throughout the week, we'll get the better quality data. And behind this, the temperatures really drop as that cold air moves on in. And you'll see it here that uh, we are actually going from 30 degrees on Thursday down to 12. That is the high temperature, not the low temperature, 12 degrees on Friday. And speaking of Valentine's Day here, if we manage to hit that 12 degree high, that will tie for the third coldest Valentine's Day on record, dating all the way back 100 years to 1919. The coldest ever was just uh, set a few years ago where we only hit seven back in 2016. So if we hit that, it is going to be the third coldest Valentine's Day on record. Ouch, get ready for this. 28 to 34 through the afternoon. Temperatures are dropping through the afternoon as we get a weak cold front to come on through, but they're not gonna drop off too much though. Chance for a, a light wintry mix through the afternoon. This is, and again, you can see the uh, the uh, presence of that front, southwest wind shifting north, northwest five to 10. That'll bring in some of that colder air. Now, uh, 35 degrees tomorrow, mostly cloudy. 37 on Wednesday, a little warmer still. We might see a little bit more sunshine on Wednesday. Thursday. Friday, there's the cold front presence. Friday, we start very cold down into the single digits, only rebound to 12 on Friday, one little lonely degree Saturday morning, but we will bounce back in the afternoon with the aid of plentiful sunshine, and we're back up to near 40 again next Sunday with a few scattered snow showers.